Another week and another list of horror titles. Let's jump right into it. September 15th through the 21st. Movies, TV shows, and video games. Let's go. Now, this video will not feature any clips because the last video I made featured clips and it got pulled. And I'm super annoyed because I spent like six hours on that. So this one, you're just going to get some pictures. I apologize, but from here on, I ain't screwing around with that stuff anymore. I hate when they get pulled. Let's get past it. And let's talk about our first movie here, which is The Haunting in Venice, which we just saw because we saw the early showing on Thursday. This comes out tomorrow, technically. But of course, you get that Thursday early showing, which we went to. And I quite liked. This is the third film in Kenneth Branagh's Hercule Perrault uh, series, you know, the Agatha Christie novels. Now, the first two are not horror. This one actually is. Now, it's more classic horror. And Hercule is called by an old friend to come investigate a seance that may shake his beliefs as a man of science. And when he gets there, of course, things go sideways and he has all sorts of things to detect. And his beliefs are called, you know, into question. And I really like that aspect of it. So if you are a fan of the first two and you want to see a horror spin on it, a more classic, refined, you know, elegant type of horror uh, nothing to be more jump scary or whatever. Uh, this definitely should be one you should like. Uh, but if you're somebody who's like, don't like these kinds of movies, didn't like the first two, didn't even see them, then you're probably not going to care. But I enjoyed it, and it is now in theaters. So head on out if you want to see it. Next up on the 15th as well, this is a Shudder film. It will be coming to Shudder, and this is called The Elevator Game. Now, some of you might be familiar with this kind of urban legend of The Elevator Game. You go into an elevator, you follow a certain set of rules, going to certain floors. This woman, you know, gets on, you don't acknowledge her. You, if you guys know it, you've seen it. I've seen it done one other time in a show called Evil, which I highly recommend. Um, but this one is an entire film on this uh, plot, and I'm actually quite looking forward to this. I think it has to do with a girl who goes missing, and her brother follows the foot, you know, the trail to uh, try to find her by playing the elevate, elevator game himself after she plays it and, and obviously goes missing. I have not watched a trailer on this, but I am super sold on the concept. And I'm super down to watch this. This totally feels like it's completely up my alley. And we will be watching and reviewing that one tomorrow. Um, okay, next up, also on the 15th, we've got El Conde. And this is a... I, I actually don't know what um, country this is from. I thought it was Spanish, but I could be completely off on that. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I should have researched that better. But I know that it is a foreign film. And it is in black and white from the trailer that I saw. And this is about a 250-year-old vampire who now wants to die. So I don't know a ton about this one, but it will be on Netflix uh in about an hour from now so uh, by the time you guys see this it'll be on there now so definitely check out a trailer for that if you're a vampire lover or a film a fan of like black and white cinema um we'll see i don't know what to expect from that one uh i also want to point out that last week i had said my animal was getting a theatrical limited run and that it would also be released on VOD on the 15th. This is just a reminder that the werewolf lesbian film, My Animal, is now going to be on VOD. So you can check that out today on the 15th. Just a reminder. Okay, next up on the 16th, this is one, honestly, the next three, uh, these are ones that honestly did not look good to me. I'm just going to throw them out there really quick. Uh, this one's called Lanier. Lanier. 
Um, the IMB description is a detective is forced to come to a realization of the dark truce at the bottom of Lake Lanier or Lanier or whatever. Uh, the trailer to this just did not resonate with me. It did not look good to me, but it's coming out. I thought I would say it. And, uh, I'm pretty sure this is, this is coming to VOD, but not one that I can personally recommend, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Next up. On the 18th, we've got another, another adaptation of the picture of Dorian Gray. This time we are gender swapping Dorian Gray, and it is being played by a woman. The trailer doesn't look terrible. Um, it looked maybe okay, but probably going to be just that okay from what I saw of the trailer. But... Maybe it might surprise me. I might check it out at some point. But honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a Dorian Gray movie to my knowledge. But man, they've made a lot of them. When I typed in a picture of Dorian Gray, the Dorian Gray adaptations that came up on IMDb was ridiculous. <laughs> there is so many. Um, but yeah, there you go. On the 19th, we are going to see the VOD release of Slother House that ridiculous slasher movie with a sloth stuck in a college. This was something that came to theaters about a week or two ago for a limited run, and our AMC A-list passed it. It was only there for one night. They did not work for this movie. My wife and I were going to go, and when we got rejected by AMC A-list saying that this was not one of them, I was, you know, not something that I could use AMC A-list towards. I was like, I am not paying. 20 some odd dollars to go see Slother House, a PG-13 rated slasher film with a sloth as the villain. No thank you. If this was R-rated, I would have definitely been more interested, but PG-13, oh man, I just can't imagine that I'm going to love this, but I will eventually watch it, I'm sure, sometime this week and probably regret it, but you never know. It'll join uh, Ghoulies 3 as another ridiculously silly college horror film with silly villains, but um, that remains to be seen. Uh, lastly, on the 21st, we've got Shaky Shivers, and this is brought to us by the Asian guy from Fast and the Furious. Am I being racist? No, that is literally how this is being marketed in its own trailer. Yes, Sung Kang, freaking good old Han. From Fast and the Furious, uh, he directed this movie. This is a Screenbox movie, but it's not coming to Screenbox yet. This is supposed to have a theatrical run. Uh, how many theaters that will play in remains to be seen, but supposedly it will be in some limited theaters. This says on the poster that it's about werewolves and zombies and... Then the IMDb description, IMDb description had two women, abandoned camp, book of spells, werewolves, zombies. I mean, it's a horror comedy. So there you go. <coughs> Some people are very opposed to horror comedies. Um, I can love them if done right, but we shall see. Definitely check out a trailer for any one of these if they seem like they might be up your alley. All right, moving on over to uh television um i think this is on the 19th for some reason i forget to forgot to write this down it's either on the 19th or the 20th um but this is the season premiere season 12 we're all the way up to 12 american horror story delicate starring emma roberts Kim Kardashian, which of course has a few people turning their heads like, who now? Kim Kardashian? You can't be talking about the same girl. Oh yes, we are. And Cara Delevingne. Um, so this one has some very recognizable faces. Of course, I'm a big fan of Emma Roberts. Um, Cara is somebody I, I also like. And once again, guys, I've said this before on the channel many, many times. This is the year of the mother. This has to do with a famous starlet trying desperately to get pregnant while still clinging on to her desire to win an Oscar and be famous and whatnot. Um, and I'm sure that's going to go horribly wrong. I have kept up with American Horror Story very 
scatter shot is is my is my involvement with this franchise i watch seasons and i don't watch seasons or i start seasons and don't finish them i'm all over the place with this series um usually they start strong and end weak but i was the only the only season i actually loved was hotel which i did finish the one with lady gaga uh season five and i have i'm all over the place with all the rest of them um so yeah we'll see i don't know i probably won't be watching this i want to start from the beginning watch the other um 11 seasons in a row with my wife i know she wants to so i probably won't watch this until then and i'm sure by then season 14 or 15 will be out for that and we also have american horror stories season two or three something i thought there was only one season but i swear i saw this was like maybe the third season or something which is crazy but that's also coming out soon i think it's next month so uh but of course i'll let you guys know when that's gonna happen all right finally video games the only thing i could find on that if you and please once again if you have titles whether it's in movies tv video games or even big books or something that you're excited about please let us know in the comments below. We're always excited to hear about anything horror. But as far as video game goes, uh, I got one title that is on the 19th, and this is Lies of the P. And this is some kind of dark take on Pinocchio. Um, this is going straight to Game Pass day one just for you Xbox users. Um, I do not know of anything when it comes to PlayStation. I do have a play PlayStation 5. Uh, I live stream on here a lot these days. Uh, Lies of P could definitely be a title that I stream soon. Um, the gameplay and the graphics look absolutely gorgeous. So that's something to look out for. And a dark take on Pinocchio could definitely be very cool. I know Geppetto creates you the character um i don't know a lot more else about it but i do know the game looks phenomenal and you can download it now if you have access to game pass and play it right when it drops so there you go guys that's everything i could find september 15th to the 21st if you found anything else comment it below and please if you love horror and you want to keep up to date on everything horror subscribe we put a lot of goddamn effort into this channel <laughs> and we just don't feel like sometimes we get the numbers that we should but uh i'm just being a sour little bitch so anyway guys let us know uh us my wife is typically here but she is uh in bed and uh i do these by myself so anyway guys uh i will see you in the next video